Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you Windows 10, the latest build, 10240. Uh, I'm going to be showing you off a couple of the features that are built in, uh, and uh, we're going to be getting into the Edge browser and all that, uh, so you can take a look. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, one of the coolest features is down here, uh, you got the cool new little uh, calendar and all that, but you also have this new notification action center here. You can do all kinds of things from here, quick quick settings and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, you can go directly into tablet mode, um, which gives you that old Windows 8 style uh, mode. It's it's meant for the smaller devices and that sort of thing. Uh, and you can just get back out of tablet mode just like that, and you're good to go. Um, all right, there you just saw was the start the new start menu. Um, it's pretty nifty. It uh, lets you know. You have new mail and all that stuff too. You can unpin these and change this back to the other style of uh, start menu if you want. Um, right here you have the all apps. When you click on that, it, it tells you, it shows you everything within the operating system that's been installed as far as programs are concerned. And then you can just click on that pro left, right click on that program and then go to uninstall and just remove the the program right here from the start menu, which is kind of nice. Um, you also have, you know, a quick link to the settings. Uh, the, the whole charm bar thing is all gone now, and you got some real settings that you can um, get to, and they're not, you know, whenever you move your mouse in the right-hand corner of the screen or left-hand corner of the screen, it doesn't annoy you. Uh, and then also these Windows 8 uh, or Windows 10 style apps, what I'm calling them now, um, they're fully resizable. Uh, they don't take up the whole screen unless you're in tablet mode. It's really nice. So let's uh, let's check out Cortana here, or the smart bar type deal thing we got here. Where they show you, we got news and weather and everything kind of loads perfectly for you here. Um, <clears throat> but you can say things like, uh, um, "Hey Cortana, what's the square root of 72?" That makes approximately 8.49. And then she'll give you the result. Hey Cortana, show me the news. Here are top stories for today. Dylan Roof, accused Charleston shirt gunman, has been indicted on federal <clears throat> hate crime charges. Medicare funds total in sixty billion dollars. She'll read the news back pay. off to you. Report I don't know if you can hear it or not. Hires black police commander as interim chief. Hey Cortana, remind me tomorrow at noon. To check my email. Sure. What do you want to be reminded about? To check my email. Okay. I'll remind you to, to check my email. Uh, it's at 12 pretty, p.m. tomorrow. It's pretty cool. Is that right? Yes. Great. It's pretty cool. She's got, you know, she does all kinds of different features, and there's all kinds of cool questions that you can ask her. Uh, one of the things is, you know, you have the Alt tab. It'll show you programs and stuff with Alt tab. Uh, that are open. Um, uh, some people know about it, other people they don't really know about the old uh, uh, switching in between. That's what's cool about this little task view icon down here by the start menu. You can just click the task view and it'll show you anything that's currently open. Uh, you can close them out. You can also add new desktops here. Um, so you have multiple desktops and they're real virtual desktops. They're not, you know, the window doesn't pop through and it's all integrated within, which is real nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into the whole Edge browser here so that you guys can kind of check that out uh, super fast. It's it's so quick. Um, uh, see how quick all that loaded, all that content, all that news just loads really fast. Um, it's it's a lot faster than Google Chrome in my opinion. Uh, let's see, let's see we wanted to go to Google.com. Uh, See how quick it loads, and when you search for something, um, it just pulls it up just super, super quick. Um, one other cool thing was it shows you the downloads that you've had right here. You can just click on that, uh, look at your history, all right from here. Um, and if the site has a uh, reader view available, this little icon here, 
it usually shows up when you go to a, you go to one of my articles here. Yeah, see that will become available and you can just go right into reader view here, uh, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, you know, the windows are way, way better manageable than in, in Windows 8 uh, or 8.1 even. Um, they're just so much quicker. Um, yeah, that pretty much, I think that's pretty much everything except for I didn't show you the, the game bar and Xbox uh, app. I'll show those off to you real quick. By hitting the Win key and then G when you're inside of an app, um, I'm sure you saw that right here take a screenshot it will give you these different tips as you're going through but hit win key G it will bring up the games bar um, down here um, and if you have a, a computer that's got compatible um, uh, compatible graphics card you can record right from within here um, you can take screenshots um, and alter your um, settings and all that uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Xbox app you can also get to it from the start menu just by going up here Typing in Xbox in the quick search. Um, it will load up all your activity feeds for you, and you can just kind of check stuff out and um, start parties, even, uh, is one of the new features that just showed up. Um, if you had it connected, if I had it connected, I could connect to my Xbox, uh, check out my Xbox, play games, I guess, is that that's coming. You can remotely play games. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Uh, let's see here, let's see messages. Game DVR is all built in here. You can go to your shared stuff, uh, check out your latest uh, record that's that you've had. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume down. We're going to watch this one real quick. 